do we all remember when our good friend Tano, Tano, oh fuck, I don't know, created her own convention in a matter of a month? And do we remember how well that convention went? Reaper! 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 You'd think after that incident that people would have learned. Maybe we shouldn't create a conference or a concert in such a short time. But, uh, a good friend, uh, FusiTube, decided that uh, he would make uh, his own concert. And he didn't just make it in a month. He made it in a matter of five days. And oh dear god, it was glorious. Hello everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Saint Jimmy. The story of the July 15th FusiTube experience begins with our protagonist FusiTube, known for such classic hits such as the Kidnapping Children experiment and the Let's Have Sex prank backfires. What the fuck, 50 million views? Noticed that, hey, not that many people are coming to my concerts anymore. Irrelevant. So he did the logical thing, cancelled his tour in the grand old state of Australia, which he was touring at at the time, hopped on a plane to America, and started an entirely new concert. But this would be no ordinary concert. First of all, he wasn't going to be the only one performing. He was going to have other artists there too. Secondly, it was going to be free. You could get on without paying any money. And of course, third of all, it was going to happen in five days. Because that went so well the last time someone tried that. And not only was FusiTube going to start a concert, he was going to write a whole new song to go along with it. So Fusi started advertising this concert on social media. And the main point he used to advertise this concert was that Drake was actually going to be here. As you can see, he uploaded a video to his YouTube channel with uh, Drake on the thumbnail. Okay, brief character break here. This video is really, really fucking weird. In the video, Fusi literally goes around LA looking for Drake to invite him to his concert. I mean, if I was famous and some random guy on the street invited me to perform at a concert, I'd be like, who the fuck are you? Get away from me. I'm not, I'm not going to your concert. It's just so weird. I mean, surely there's a better way of inviting someone to your concert than harassing them on the street. So July 15th rolls around and, uh, did it go well? No. No, dear, dear God, no, it did not go well. Okay, where to begin? Well, let's start with the part where the concert was actually running normally. First of all, not that many people came. If you look at this photo of the theatre here, it's not empty, but it's still really underfilled. There's so many empty seats. And secondly, the musicians they had performing, well, I, I think they just speak for themselves. Lit like a bitch, all these bitches on my dick, and they fuck me and they dick, and you know I'm with the shit, so you know I'm about to hit, cause I'm too legit to quit. Hey, Lil Poppy, Lil Poppy, let's get into it, Run that shit. Now that heart-wrenching performance was performed by the one, the only, Lit Puppy. Now, I've never heard of that man in my life, and given the audience's reaction to him, I don't think they had either. But Saint Jimmy, you may be saying, it doesn't matter that one of the performers sucks shit, because Drake was going to be there. Well, um, yeah, well, well, you see, uh, no, no he wasn't. Yeah, even though... Fusi to this day insists that he met Drake and that he was going to be there. Drake did an interview and he said that he had never met Fusi and he had no idea who he was. So, um, yeah, no. Well, now you might be saying, ah, well, that's okay. Fusi was just teasing, which is a really dumb thing to say, but whatever. At least Fusi performed an entirely new song at the concert. Well, Fusi did release some new sick beats. But, uh, it was a rice gum diss track. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Brian. <laughs> rice ain't got no spirit. Got no deeper layer. One ghost rider. One ghost Fortnite player. Yeah, so, it seems that FusiTube's July 15th event was a giant fucking failure. Especially seeing as the event 
didn't actually finish. What happened is some kind of generic threat, possibly a prank. There was uh, po there was some rumors of possibly a suspicious package or something. So the Greek had to uh, essentially be evacuated. We watched a bunch of uh, frustrated people come out here and leaving Griffith Park. So as you can see, just to tip off the day, someone actually bothered to call a bomb threat for some reason. Now you're probably thinking, ah oh, well, this is where it ends. Well, you'd be wrong. Because uh, after the stupid bomb threat, which is really quite dumb, why the fuck would you call a bomb threat on something like that? Uh, Fusi got up on a car, like the messiah that he is, and preached to his followers. And he said absolutely nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean basically nothing. All he did was perform a shitty song, tell a story about how he met Drake, which we all know is bullshit, and uh, in the span of about five minutes, say he both loved Keemstar, and that Keemstar made him want to kill himself. I love you. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself! Oh yeah, Keemstar was there. Yeah, he was just there the entire time. He was filming a documentary about the event. If you have any interest in this whatsoever, I recommend watching it. It's actually really good. It's on a drama alert channel right now if you're interested. At this point, the day was basically done. You'd imagine that FusiTube would realize that he fucked up a bit that uh, the event was a complete failure and his song wasn't very good. But no, he actually thought it went fantastically. How, you doing? How do you think July 15th went overall? Give us a bit of a, a debrief. A success, man. You I reckon? couldn't be happier, yeah. All, all, everything that you thought would go to plan. Look at all the attention that's being drawn around love, man. Where literally everybody who used to hate me got attracted to this room today. Yep. I got to tell people who talk shit about me on the internet to their face how I feel about them. Yep. Ticketmaster and Live Nation wants to give me money now Chicago. to throw an even bigger one. He flew from Chicago, just yeah. got out of his Uber to say what's up. Yep. This is a movement. July 15th is going to live on forever. And guess what? Fusi says it's going to be another one. Yep, there's going to be a second concert. And this time, Drake is going to be there. Because he totally agreed the first time. He'll definitely come now. So how did Fusichi react in the aftermath of July 15th? Well, he released not one, not two, but seven videos trying to explain himself. Now to be fair, I haven't seen every single second of each video that he's posted. I mean, one of them is an hour long for fuck's sake. I mean, I'm not watching that. Jesus Christ. But I have seen a considerable portion of each video. And from what I have seen, he hasn't really said anything to defend himself. I mean, for Christ's sake, one of the videos he didn't even make. He copy-pasted it from someone else's channel. It doesn't even defend him. It's just a video of him on that car that you saw earlier. It's quite similar to that. And in the other videos, he just doesn't even say much that hey, he hasn't already said. He still claims that he met Drake. He still thinks that July 15th was a success. He still thinks that his diss track on Rice Gum was an, an excellent song. I mean, Jesus Christ. Ugh. There's not really much more to say on this topic, so I'm just going to end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was made over many days, so if the audio sounds inconsistent, then that's why I apologize that, that is the case. In the next few days, I should be uploading a new video as well, and uh, something quite different. So uh, be prepared for that. And yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Oh god, this video is way later than I thought it would be. What? What's the date? The 4th of August? Fuck, I'm nearly 20 days late. Well... Shit. <laughs>